Let's look at how to put enemies into the battle scene using the Troops tab in RPG Maker's database. Every listing of troops is used to represent a battle, whether there's a single enemy or multiple enemies in the battle, or whether more enemies appear later. Think of the battle scene as its own event page, where everything that happens in a specific battle is set up. To add new enemies to your scene, click their name on the right and click Add. You can also use this to remove them by clicking their sprite and clicking Remove. Clear will remove all enemies from the scene. Align will visually line up all of the enemy sprites. You can also automatically name each scene using the Auto Name button, which names the database listing after all of the enemies present. Changing the BG or background in this tab will allow you to preview how enemies will look against the background graphics, but bear in mind that they will not appear like this in the game itself, as this has to be set up in the game's events. The Battle Test feature allows you to run a mock battle to test how the scene will function. You can set up which actors will be present, their levels, and equipment. Pressing Initialize will return an actor to the default settings from the Actor tab. The Battle Events section functions similarly to how a map event would work. You can use all of the event commands and create pages with conditions. The conditions can be used to initiate event commands at the end of every turn, during a particular turn or number of turns, when the enemy's HP reaches a percentage, when the actor's HP reaches a percentage, or when a switch is active. By default, the Don't Run condition is active, which means that the events won't run, so remember to set a condition to run the events. You can also change the span, which specifies which time the events will run. You can hover over span to find out what each of these does. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!